Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle. Today I'm going to answer a question that I get asked quite frequently, and that is, is there a difference between the black-sided Penn Senator 4O and the red-sided one? And the red-sided one actually doesn't say 4O on it, it says the 113H, that H indicating high speed. But if you look at these, let's say you walk up to a table at a flea market or a fishing uh, tackle sale, you look at them and they pretty much look the same. They're the same size and frame, same size and capacity. Even the handles on these, although they've changed over time, even the handles on these look uh, pretty pretty much the same thing. So are they the same reel with just a little fashion design here with the burgundy? Or are they different? And uh, let's take a look. So. I'm going to start by uh, removing the side plates because that's the business end of this, that if there is a difference, and I know the answer to this one already, but if there is a difference it will show on the, uh, the real side plate. So I'm just going to take these off and I'm going to ask you to be patient with me and we'll talk a little bit about the reel itself. So we're here on the northeast coast. Uh, this is a very popular uh, inshore, offshore reel. It's kind of a a mix, right? If you're going for the lighter fish and you like the pens, and we'll stay with the pen line for a moment, uh, you're going to be using a pen jig master for the most part. That's a nice, uh, nice reel. It's got a relatively high speed retrieve. It's got a good capacity to it, the 300 yards of 20 pound monofilament, and it's very versatile. So on the east coast, you could use that to uh, to do some bottom fishing, like the um, in the rocks. Uh, you can do that for trolling. You can do it for casting from the beach with the jig master uh, because of the uh, uh, construction of it. And uh, you can use it for pier and, and boat drop fishing as well as well as some trolling. And it'll be capable of handling uh, 20 pound fish with some relative ease. Uh, so when you go up a little bit more, you can move up to the 4 O. And the 4 O not going to be casting with that, uh, not going to be doing some of the other things we talked about, but you can move further offshore and you can move with uh, a larger uh, size fish class. So you can get into some, some tuna, uh, you can use the bigger uh, reels for shark, you can use these for uh, the trolling, which I, has a, this one goes to about a 400 or a uh, 450, I forget exactly, uh, capacity, so you have a lot more capacity to it, and uh, you have uh, stronger uh, drags because the drag sets have more drags in them, and I probably shouldn't be doing that, I just did that, but uh, probably should be keeping these separate here, so that's why I have the two parts trays out, and for those of you that know me, I like to use the uh, parts trays to keep track of the pieces and parts. And uh, when I go to reassemble, I know that all of those are there. So let's take a look. We'll just grab this, these pieces off first. And I'll take the side plate off of this. So immediately, you can see that the black side plate there is a little bit different than the red side plate. Now we're going to just grab these, take this off completely so that you can compare the backs of this. And then we'll talk about uh, differences. So the black side plate was the first one offered. I don't remember exactly when it was introduced. I do know that the Senator line was pretty much the first line that Penn started making in the 1930s. They made it along with the Seaboy and the Long Beach at that point. And a lot of the early ones didn't have numbers to them, but uh, they since took the numbering and the numbering usually meant uh, uh, was related to the frame size. So uh, in this case, um, the numbering is, uh, well, I'm not quite sure what the 4R means. If somebody knows that, please leave that in the um, comments. It may be frame size for all, because the 3 hour is certainly smaller and the 2 hour is smaller yet, and the 1 hour Senator was kind of comparable to the Penn Long Beach uh, in design. So, uh, so if anybody knows the Force 4.0 designation, I would probably appreciate that in the comments. I'm always looking to learn something. Okay, so we have this side plate off. So let's take a look. 
Well, physically looking at these, the design, let's bring this one up, the design is pretty much the same. The design throughout has always been the, uh, the design that was used in the Long Beach. It has a jack, a yoke, a, uh, a main spool gear, a main gear held on by four pieces. But if you look at it further now, you're going to notice that the spool gear here and the spool gear there uh, has a different dimension to it, diameter. And same thing with the main gear. The main gear here is smaller than the main gear here. And uh, so the, the quick answer to this is yes, there is a difference between the black sided and the, the red sided. The black side being what's called a low speed or a, a lower ratio gear to the high speed being uh, more turns uh, of the spool per crank of the shaft. So let's continue on this. Let's take this apart. So another note, you notice that there's a ferrule on this one that came out of the black side. And um, we're going to just go ahead and pull this off now. And we're going to do a side by side from the, the case view of this so that you can get a, a better appreciation for what the differences are. So in the Senator, always interesting. This, this Senator series with the black side plates, like I said, it was just kind of a continuation of a line that was introduced. But the insides of the Senators, for the most part, used the technology and a lot of the same parts as the Long Beach line. The difference being that you had a, a chrome ring that uh, went to the outside of this. Now you notice I'm cupping my hand as I'm removing the internals here. That's because there's a spring on the anti-reverse dog and I don't want to lose that. I, uh, got a, I got a tip from a viewer that I like and I would recommend and that's the when you're doing this if you're afraid of losing that spring that goes on the anti-reverse dog then go ahead and put this inside of a plastic bag similar to this and then push this through because if it does shoot it's captured inside the bag. Kind of like that idea. Alright we're going to pull this off grab that spring that's the little spring we were talking about. Put that into the, the case. Here's the dog. And what you're going to notice, or you may notice, or you may not know, but it's it's true. This is the same gear as the Pen 66 Long Beach. Not the 65, but the 66, 67, 68 have the same gear. And uh, this is an older setup for that. So let's, let's go ahead and see if we can't take this off. I'll show you the other difference here, uh, as this is an older older one. So this one uh, has a broken um, felt washer in there. We're going to have to replace that as we do a service on this. Again, the, this is not how to service them so much as it is what's the difference. We will come back and service this. There's, there's a hard felt ring here that's uh, broken on this one. So this one will probably be an, an ideal time to do an upgrade on this because you'll see the other differences in a moment if we can get the main gear off. There we go. So the other difference here is is that you got it like a brake pad type of a, uh, a drag washer here. There's only two of them and a, and a small uh, felt washer one. But look at the thickness of this. Let me just see if I can grab a, uh, a modern day one. Sometimes I can find them pretty quickly. So here's the modern day Jigmaster, and you can see that the dimensions, the width of these are so much different in terms of this one being thin, this one being thick. So this is the older style. Uh, you, these can be reused. There, there's nothing wrong with these. These are actually like an asbestos break. They're, they're that strong. And uh, I just, uh, and when I re go to rebuild this, I just need to get an additional uh, ring. And that ring should be the same one that's being used as the backing here on the, um, uh, on the gear sleeve. So I'm just going to put this aside for now with the, uh, the thoughts. Let's put it here just so you can see how this setup is. Understanding that we have a missing um, red washer. Let's move over here. One of the things that's interesting then when you go to the high speed or the H, is that these drags in this particular version are accessible from the outside. You can remove this collar washer. Should be able to remove the crop. There we go. And uh, 
you could do a drag change without taking the, uh, the side plate off. But again, we're going to do a comparison here, so might as well go ahead and take that side plate off while we're at it. So the answer to this is yes, there is a difference. The difference is in the gear ratio, the high speed versus low speed. The difference is also, as you will see, in the drag washers themselves. And there's a conversion kit available for the older ones. Instead of using those two thick ones and a small uh, uh, felt washer, you can use seven, seven on six um, drag washers. And that's, that's currently sold. You can't get the older, thicker ones today, but you can get the conversion kit through, uh, through penparts.com. Now I'm pushing this through and I realize that um, that's not going to happen because it's like the Jigmaster you need, uh, or some of the other ones, you need to take the metal ring off. Before you do that. Oh, wrong bucket. All right, let's just continue now. I pulled the dog out. Hopefully we're going to find a dog spring. I don't, uh, don't see that, and I guess I am out of luck. I probably lost that little spring in the chute. It'll show up. It always does. Um, all right, so let's pull the, the main gear set off then. And you can tell right away the difference in the size of the gears. So what is a gear ratio then? So the gear ratio is the difference in size These go with the low speed version. And I'm just going to pull it all off, I think, just make it easy on this. No trouble gripping it. Come on. There we go. The gear ratio then is the gear ratio of the spool gear to the main gear. And this one, it's in the twos, I don't know exactly what it is, but the outside of this gear is approximately two and a half times the size of the spool gear, and so that becomes a 2.5 to 1 gear ratio. So this is relatively low speed. On this one, it's a much different picture. So remove this. I have trouble with these, that's why I use the pliers to grip. I'll have all these other pieces come off. I'm going to rebuild both of these reels, but I just thought for, for now, just to answer that question, which, uh, that would be the purpose of doing this today. And we've got to find a spring, obviously, and that spring's around here somewhere. It's going to go in this dog. This dog is going to sit like this. And there's a, there's a spring that belongs in that little hole, and I'm sure over time we will find that I always warn about it. Maybe I should have followed that viewer's advice there. And uh, put that bag around it before I pushed it out. But uh, that's the way it goes. So this one then has the thicker ones. It's the older style. This one can be replaced by a seven, seven count. Uh, piece as well. There's one stuck in there. I'm not going to pull it out at the moment. So you have the one in the drum, the second one, and these are stuck together. So these, this wheel has not been working effectively uh, from a drag standpoint. And again, you can't get these in the modern day form from a replacement standpoint. But you can see the difference. The drag washers are much bigger. The ratio of the main gear to the spool gear more significant. I don't know if this is three times or 3.5 times or what it is, but that's your gear ratio uh, or retrieve ratio. It's probably in the four to one in terms of turns. And a lot of people will take a reel and they'll just they'll mark on the spool like a jig master. They'll mark on the spool to put their their uh, handle up north, they'll mark on the spool, and they'll count the number of times that mark goes around before the top of the reel gets back to that point. And that's how you can determine what the ratio is. But the ratio actually is the small gear versus the bigger gear. Okay, so these have the, so this is an older red line. 
or a red sided plate but you can see the obvious differences and again this one there's different washers and I'm going to go get them but this will be replaced by seven seven and six uh, washers as opposed to uh, I think it's seven uh, as opposed to the thicker ones and that'll give you uh, the modern day equivalent of that so so the answer to the questions then is yes there is a difference if you're going to buy the black versus the uh, red sided one at a flea market or otherwise the main difference is in the gearing and the black side is the low speed gear and the red sided ones are the high speed gears now we did discover a difference here uh, in the drag sizes, of course, because they sit inside the, the main. Uh, but there's also a difference in the, in the more modern ones have the thinner and more of them drag washers. This isn't for that, but uh, just as an example, the width as opposed to this. So we'll rebuild these. Uh, I'm going to go order the, the drag replacements for both of these reels, especially uh, this little felt washer thing here. But I did want to show you that. I did want to answer the question that, uh, that comes up quite frequently there. What is the difference between the red side and the black side on the 4.0? That's it. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you, uh, if you did, you indicate it by liking it. And uh, if you want to see more, uh, please subscribe. And uh, as always, I thank you for viewing. This is Dennis with Second Chance Tackle.